We're back. I was so happy that I didn't have to appear in that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But uh, so reactions, thoughts? For Karen, do you want to pick up? <laughs> well, I want to say some stuff that's going on in the chat with okay. Chad right now. Mm -hmm. um, and we are talking about sort of is Common Core necessary for this or does it just provide an opportunity? But he says um, he's interested in the teacher piece of this and how do we help folks adopt a do-it-yourself approach um, to curriculum. And that's sort of the next, that's sort of foreshadowing the next piece of this. But I mean, I don't know, Paul, if you want to talk about sort of what, what gave what made you do this and and see this as an opportunity or if other people like how can we get more people to sort of get excited about doing things like this because hmm. I think the stuff in your I, classroom is so exciting I, uh, that's I didn't know you were gonna ask that I what can I say you know I I Um, because the Common Core standards and the and badges too, I think all of that stuff could be used in a very different way than than we mess with it, right? So, so I wonder I wonder what it is that I look at and I say, oh, we can use that because there's a core that that, that I want to get that I want to get to, right? It's the, it's the, it's, it's the, it's the inquiry. It's so, so if you give me a common core standard that, that will help me push kids toward their own individual inquiry, I can, I can mess with that, but, you know? Right. <laughs> so, well, and it's yeah. like the textbook publishers, I mean, they're very loose with correlating to standards and they sort of take their stuff and they do a correlation. So why don't we do that as teachers? I mean, that idea of taking maker stuff or taking whatever you think is cool and do a correlation. I mean, the standards are not so restrictive that you can't do that. But how do we get people to, ha to feel like they have permission or, you know, are pushed to do that? When I when I look at how standards are used, Karen, it's like um, in at least at the elementary level, I have to say that standards are used to to uh, align to a, an assessment, and so teachers mm -hmm. are going to teach towards that, and so um, so it's not quite as open. I mean, yes, when you read Common Core, you can see how you could design a very open ended curriculum, but if if people proceed with the way we've been doing standards. Um, I think it's less likely just because people are going to be waiting for those assessments and aligning their curriculum that way. I totally agree. And I think that whether the new assessments live up to their promise or not is, is going to have a lot to do with whether Common yes. Core turns out to be good. And I mean, I've heard descriptions of these new assessments that could be awesome and wonderful, or they could be the same old thing. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, I just, I, I just want to jump in and say, um, having known Paul Allison for many years, I think one of the things that to me is uh, is emblematic in, in this work that we were looking at is the fact that I think Paul is a tinkerer uh, and, and mm -hmm. has been for a long time. You know, so he, uh, I think, has taken uh, intellectual frameworks and pedagogical frameworks and has really tinkered with, you know, those um, in relation to, like, the work he's doing with students. And so... I guess I wonder about that idea of, of tinkering and how we can encourage teachers to themselves be tinkerers and and then to coalesce around you know the ideas um, that they tinker with so that you know, they have a, a voice not just individually but collectively. Mm -hmm. and Paul, I, I'd like to build on that idea, Paul, and just also notice that this forum, TTT, is something that's been happening all along as these voices was developing. So, Paul and Chris, it seems like you started this in an open way and doing that tinkering in an open way that was inviting other people in to tinker with you, um, which also feels like a really core idea of the work that you've developed over time. and potentially a really core idea of how we continue to support each other in, in working this way. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, I, it's, I think this is related, but having done that video through I, I hang out also um, with with the students when when Karen was able to to come up to our school, they knew her already, which was really cool. They said, "Oh, you're that woman from the video," and so there was this like connection that was really cool um, and fast. So that, it was that really was cool awesome. for me too. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, Bonita, do you is it but. Bonita, yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? <laughs> oh, sure. I guess I probably missed a whole. <laughs> it's okay. I just want to get to it. I'm going to be here. zipping out because I have a, a Halloween. Event so you introduce on. yourself as you leave. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, so I'm Bonita Diamichis. I'm a principal at a K through five, well, a pre pre K through five school in Los Angeles County. Hmm. I don't know how much people introduce themselves. I met Karen through uh, when I was a teacher. You know. Gosh, Karen, this probably goes back 10 years now. And I uh, worked with handhelds with the palm when Karen was doing the palm stuff. Um, so my students all did handhelds. It was a crazy world, and I loved it. Very messy, wonderful instruction. So how do you, how do you uh, keep a space for teachers who want to tinker? Boy, I'll tell you, in my district, I would say there is no space for tinkering, not for principals or teachers. Um, Reality. I know. That's the reality. That really? is the reality. There's such an alignment to the assessments and standards, and that is so um, ingrained that I'm not sure that there's room for, for anything more at this point. Uh, now, I have a very tight district that way, and I do have friends that are principals in districts that have a little bit more uh, freedom. Um, and I think if I were in one of those districts, I would probably do something like... Um, trying to think what the there was a book I was reading about creativity where it said you, you create a space so on Fridays is tinker day you know and so yeah Monday through Thursday you, we got to do this thing that we're doing but on Friday I want you to tinker and see what happens that's probably where I would go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so now the way it happens in my school is if I have a teacher that goes that direction you know um, I'm excited for them, and we just try to find secret spots where they can do it. <laughs> so, Karen, I, I want to get to the last section here.